Hello friends, today we shall see different types of nouns, the classification of nouns, they are the following, last time we have seen the parts of speech, eight parts of speech, among them noun is the first one, today we shall see the classification of nouns or oh, different types of nouns. Let us go. You know, noun represents the name of a person, place, thing or idea. And which are the different types of nouns? We shall see that one after the other. One is proper noun. Next is common noun. I will go through all this in detail later. Third one is collective noun. Fourth, abstract noun. Fifth, material noun or materialistic noun. Sixth, gender noun. Two genders, masculine gender and feminine gender. Seven, number noun. Eight, countable noun. By the name itself or by the word itself, you can understand what is countable noun. I will come to that later. The opposite is uncountable noun. Nine is uncountable noun. And the last one is compound noun. So there are 10 types of nouns according to its usage. It is used differently. Now we shall see one after another. I said the first one is proper noun. Proper noun. What is proper noun? Proper noun is the name of a specific person, place, thing or idea. Any name. As we have seen, we, we saw uh, day before yesterday or last day. Any name. Obama. Clinton, Telvin, Sabin, Matthew, Rukmani, Muhammad, any name, pen, pencil, anything, proper noun is a specific name of a person, place or thing, whose idea. Next I said is common noun, common. Common noun. So common noun means it refers to common things, very common things, general things. Table, chair, like that. Common things. Third, third one is collective. Collective noun. Collective means a collection of names. Collection of people, collection of things, and it is represented as a singular noun. Uh, you can say class, army, A R M Y, army, herd, H E R D, herd, flight, fly, G H T, class. Collective. Flight. Heard, fly, people. Like that. Or army. 
troop. A collection of people or things. Collecting now. Next is abstract. Abstract now. Abstract now. Abstract noun denotes something one cannot touch. You cannot touch the abstract thing. So what is that? Abstract. That which you cannot touch or feel by touch. That is Happiness. When you are happy, your happiness cannot be touched. Then love, passion, you cannot feel that passion by touching. You cannot. Like that, sadness, Bravery. Okay, all well, these are abstract nouns. That nouns which one cannot touch. Next is materialistic noun or material noun. By the name itself, the word itself, the meaning is clear. It is the name of materials, of metal or substances from which something can be made up of. With the metal you can make so many, so many things, so many instruments. So such names or such nouns are called material noun. Yeah, we shall go to the other one, gender noun. What's the gender? Gender noun means it shows the biological sex of a person. Biological sex of a person is denoted or explained by gender name or gender noun. I said earlier there are two genders, masculine gender, masculine gender, feminine gender, under masculine gender, you may think of some of the nouns, masculine gender, Man, father, son, uncle, like that. I'm not going to write all this. Feminine, woman, lady, daughter, girl, lioness, the masculine, lion. Okay. Six. So if you see proper noun, common noun, collective noun, abstract noun, gender noun, and collective noun, proper noun, common noun, collective noun, abstract noun. Ah, I didn't write material. Okay, material. No, oh, material. Okay, material noun. I didn't write it. Seven. It comes in. Seven is number noun. Number noun. It shows the number, whether it is a single or more than one. Okay, so that is single. Student, which is a number. How many? One. One student. Students. 
more than one maybe two hundred thousand more than that doctor nurse journalist dentist single when you make it plural any number more than one that is number noun okay let me write it number noun number noun abstract noun collective noun okay next is i said it countable noun countable count cheyavunnathu ennavunnathu countable nouns pot 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 earthen pot mankalam pot book mobile phone bucket anything which are which can be counted countable that can be counted that is countable nouns of course then comes when there is countable noun of course there should be uncountable uncountable nouns what are the uncountable that cannot be counted we cannot pick as 1 2 3 4 5 like that we cannot we cannot count it let me think of an example that cannot be counted uncountable okay i'll say milk we cannot count to milk one milk two milk three milk may not be possible you can say one liter or two liters three liters or one gallon like that you can but cannot count one two three four like that one milk two milk you, you may not be you cannot not may not be you cannot count you cannot count the uncountable nouns okay another uh, example gases hydrogen oxygen any gas we cannot count it then water can you count water no we cannot count water so these are uncountable nouns so we have seen proper noun common noun collective noun collection of names abstract noun that cannot be touched gender noun uh, on the basis of gender or on the basis of basic biological sex there are masculine gender and feminine gender nouns and uh, uh, next is material noun is the names of metal or substances which can be used for making up of some instruments number noun that shows whether the noun is the name is single or more than one countable noun those nouns which can be counted can have the number count then nine is uncountable that may not be in that cannot be counted milk water petrol hydrogen like gases like hydrogen oxygen like that and the last one ten is so we have seen nine one ten is compound noun compound compound noun compound noun 
compound noun means it refers to nouns made of two smaller words for example book it's a small word it's a small noun text another small word when these two small words are brought together it becomes textbook text book and the school textbook or textbooks are distributed by the school society are the one see kadal food bakshanam when these two are joined we get seafood textbook seafood sunflower sunflower surya gandhi here also two words sea and food brought it together to make one word here text and book to together to make one word so it is common noun from the beginning we shall see but again nouns are divided or classified into 10 types proper noun it's a specific the name of specific person place thing or idea common noun the names of common things or common group collective noun it's a group of collection of nouns or people animals or things next abstract noun abstract noun is abstract noun those noun or those things one cannot touch and feel gender noun this noun is divided according to the biological sex masculine as well as feminine material materialistic noun or material noun is the names of metal or substances which can be used to make up of some instruments number noun this shows whether the noun is single or more than one the countable noun those things that can be counted uncountable then means that those things can, cannot be counted information oxygen gases like oxygen um, I, i i said it earlier ozone milk water oil petrol compound noun compound noun means two smaller words come together to make one word here text and book textbook one word sea and food sea food one word sun and flower sunflower one word okay these are the types of nouns let just think of it whether these are in your mind go from the first one proper 
noun common noun collective noun abstract noun gender noun number noun okay countable noun uncountable noun compound noun now there are a few rules related to the usage of nouns we shall see that a few rules with uncountable nouns i said petrol oil water milk singular verb should be used and there is no plural for that uncountable nouns use singular verb i said in the first class to make a singular verb the easiest way is to add s es or ies now next is uh some nouns which seem to be plural but they are singular when we look into it we may think that it is plural can you think of an example it's very common okay physics mathematics civics politics then gymnastics news billiards what these are like plural but they are singular another rule is again some nouns seems to be singular seems to be singular not plural that is infantry there is no yes at the end of it as it is a noun infantry it is like a singular but it is plural then gentry gentry means what is infantry infantry means a troop a troop a collection of uh, soldiers infantry gentry gentry means a group of gentlemen it is not singular it is plural police police actually the pronunciation is police is plural then cattle 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 is plural people people is plural and what's the singular of people we cannot say one people <laughs> what's the singular singular is person one person two people not two persons two people one person okay people it's plural another is some nouns give an appearance of plural some nouns give an appearance when we look into it we may feel that it is plural um trousers pants binoculars shorts when you go for play football or basketball you can have the shorts this so when we look into it when we see it we may feel that it is plural but it is not plural it is singular then another thing is that when there is a numerical adjective an adjective that shows number the numerical adjective we cannot use the plural of the noun if after there is another noun i will give you the example
he is a pronoun and as well as a subject. Is a twenty is a numerical adjective. Twenty is the numerical adjective. Twenty means one, two, three, ten, nineteen, twenty. Twenty year or years. Normally we use years. Twenty. He is a twenty years old boy. Is there any noun? Is there any noun after this numerical adjective? If there is a noun after the numerical adjective, the adjacent noun should not be given plural, not be added yes. So this sentence is wrong as there is 20 as the numerical adjective the adjacent or the noun after the numerical adjective should not be written in plural He is a 20 year old boy is the right sentence. Okay. Or he is 20 years old he is 20 years old there you can use yes but as the boy the noun is after that numerical adjective the adjacent noun should not be given should not be given in the plural form Yes, should not be there. He is a 20 year old boy. Raman Ramani is a is an 18 years old girl. Like that you can see. Another one, so I think it is clear. Another one is the use of apostrophe. Apostrophe. You cannot use two apostrophes in a sentence. His wife's secretary is mother died his wife's secretary his wife's secretary wife has got a secretary and those secretary's mother died his wife's secretary's mother died i said the rule we cannot use two apostrophes in a sentence. So we have to change that. So the sentence is wrong. How can we write the correct sentence? We can write it. The mother of
वाइफ सेक्रेटरी मदर ऑफ हिस वाइफ सेक्रेटरी डाइड हाउ मेनी अपोस्ट ऑफ फीस आर देर दिस ओनली दिस ओनली वन अपोस्ट ऑफ फी here two apostrophe two apostrophe it is wrong there should only be one apostrophe in a sentence so we changed the wrong sentence into the mother of his wife's secretary died okay for the time being thank you we shall see later